No, no, no. Max, how bad? Single payer health care? <laughs> no? Why not, Max? It's a good idea, no? Max, why are you running away from me? That's the big farmer man right there. Max, big farmer rose. Max, big farmer rose. So that's Max Rose. You remember the other day I was uh, chasing him down. I went to a town hall meeting here in uh, New York City. And uh, I ran into, I, I got to hear a couple of guys speak. I got to hear, uh, that's Max Rose right there. He's the candidate in Congressional 11. This is really good because I caught him again on the street. And I'm going to show the clip. Right? I gave him a second. That was the first chance I, in an open forum in a town hall. I asked him a simple question about single payer universal health care for all in America. He's running for the United States Congress, House of Representatives, against the Republican Dan Donovan. We know the Republican, of course, doesn't, they won't even listen to the idea of single-payer health care. But single-payer universal health care in America is, wide, is wildly popular amongst the people. Why? Because it brings down the cost of health care. It eliminates the middlemen, all of the insurance companies, the, the pharmaceutical companies. All the lawyers, all the all the you know, all the people in between you and proper health care. So the price comes is dramatically comes down dramatically. But this gentleman, Max Rose, he gener he uh, last check he raised uh, one point eight million dollars. I think he outraised his his opponent by about about ten grand. Uh, so he's doing well. He's making a lot of money. This guy, where's the money coming from? Right. I, all right. Uh, a a uh, incumbent Republican, Dan Donovan, backed by Donald Trump. It's understandable that he's had some time to raise two million dollars. But where's this guy getting his money? Right. He's he's a he's a pharmaceutical guy. If you look at his background, he takes he's he's all about he's all about assisting the pharmaceuticals. So I ask him a question again. He's out in my he's out in the uh, neighborhood <laughs> standing by the train station, handing out his little flyers. Right. And he sees me and he runs away, right? And I ask him a couple of questions. He runs across the street and he keeps on trucking, right? So here's, here's the, um, I mean, this is a lesson. Let, let's watch it first and then I'll come back and I'll, and I'll, I'll uh, summation. This is Max Rose. I'm going to give Max Rose another chance to answer a simple question. He's walking away from me. See Max Rose? This is Max Rose, the politician. Running against Dan Donovan in, in Congressional 11, Democrat. He's a hey, Democrat. He's a Democrat against universal single payer health care for all. And he won't answer a question, con constituent. He's afraid of me. His bodyguard is throwing a little interference. You see that? Young man, young man, politician. Wants to be a politician someday. So, Max, come on. It's a good question, it's a fair question. Single payer universal health care for all in America. Seventy percent of the country wants it. Seventy percent of New Yorkers want it. Max Rose stands against it. Why? Because you take money from pharmaceuticals. You're in the pharmaceutical industry, right, Max? I know you're in the army. I know you're in the army, but you're also in the pharmaceutical industry, right? It's a very busy man, Max. He has no time to, to talk to the constituents. Don't kick me, man. Because if you He's kick me, I'm going to kick you back. I am relaxed. I'm relaxed. I, I'm relaxed. I, I get a little touchy when people touch I, me. It'll I, kick me. Because I'm not touching anybody and not kicking anybody. Please. Right? I'm just asking the constituent a question. He's out in the public. He's in the public eye. That's what politicians are supposed to do. See, we want to elect politicians that go to bat for the people. Right? When, when a constituent asks someone something... I'm sorry, I bumped into you. That was a total accident. Because I am a gentleman. I am a gentleman, and I'm going to bat for the people. And as no, one's, no one's denying that you're going bat for the people. The point, the point here, my friend, is there's a way to do this, okay? What is we the way to do it? We can schedule a time. We can do whatever you want. I'd be happy to talk to you. But you've been what doing this, right you've been doing this a lot street. to me. Marcus, we we got to go. This is not the way to do this, brother. It's not. All right, so single-payer health care is off the table? I swear, man. We, we just tell me. Just say it. Say it, Max. Say it. You can't do it. You can't do it for the people, Max. Something else, man.
All right, man. You have a good day, man. Thanks for your time. So I make the case, right? I, te- I, I explain to him my question very specifically. He hears me. He's got his little guy in between running interference, right? And I ask him, I say, single-payer universal health care, 70% of the country wants it, 70% of the state wants it. He hears me. He responds. His friend, you know, the, the young man keeps throwing interference, getting in between hit the question and the candidate, right? It's classic, it's classic, you know, shit-ass politics, right? And, um, I mean, what's the takeaway? The takeaway is that this is not just a local issue, right? This is the way you talk to these politicians. This is the way you go out into the community and, and confront these, these phonies, right? Right. Because that's what he's this guy is going to go. He's going to go there. He's he's preying on the 85 percent of the people that don't know the issues. Right. And he's he's just unfortunate that I happen to live in his neighborhood. (laughs) You know, I happen to and someone knocked on the door and said, Max Rose is out on the corner. And I, I grabbed my shit and I went and got him. Right. But that's what that's what most people. That's what most people have to do. Right. That's that's how we. That's how we, 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 you can't just sit on your armchair and, and hope and, and, you know, and, and cause you see what he does, right? He said, oh yeah, come, to, you know, set up an appointment with me and we'll, we'll sit there in suits and ties and talk about the issues. No, fuck you. Answer the question. The question is presented to you. You're out on the street, summon up, summon up votes, but you can't answer a question about single payer universal health care. You can't take a minute out of your time. You're very, very so busy. Where are you going? You're going to buy fucking donuts. That's where you were going. I chased you down the block. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just a sad reality of, of politics right now. It's really sad. I mean, this is a Democrat. This is this is Justice Democrats, our revolution. This is your fucking party, man. This is your party. Where are you guys, man? Why are you shout? Why do, why does why does someone in the middle have to come and shout down your candidate? It's pathetic. The guys are pathetic, right? Max Rose, uh, well, you know, he's just an army guy. He's he's got an intelligence background. We know the Democrats are supporting intelligence guys because this guy will roll over in terms of pharmaceutical industrial complex, military industrial complex. You think a guy with a military background like that was in the army? is going to turn down $700 billion in military spending. This is not the candidate. These are not the kind of people that we need representing us, right? And Brooklyn and Staten Island are only, only go to the, in the Democratic, go in the Republican slot in my area because of guys like this, that they, they don't have a legitimate candidate. That in New York City, it's impossible to get a legitimate, there was a legitimate candidate in this race, by the way. His name was uh, Paul Sperling. If you look him up, I interviewed him. He's a brilliant young man, you know. He had all the right policies. He was for the people. But a guy like Max Rose, with, with, uh, once, he's in, once you're in that pocket with pharmaceutical, I give you a million dollars. And, uh, you know, and, and the, the Democrats in the, down in the offices play games with the machines, right? So you're not going to win. All right. So... He has, this is the pick. I don't think he'll beat Donovan. I don't know. At the, in the end of the day, I don't know how, how, I mean, that's, it's a mystery how the Republican is getting elected in a, 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 a you know, very, very uh, democratic area, but it's happening because of guys like Max Rose. So that's all I'm saying is that this is a lesson, grasshoppers. This is a lesson in, in, in a proactive politics, right? I mean, I, I sit here and I talk, I talk shit, right? But I also get off my ass. I get out the chair and I go after these guys, right? And that's not, it's not just, it shouldn't just be me. Anybody can do that. Anybody can walk up to their politician with a camera on and ask a question, right? right? And they try to, you know, you see how he tries to turn it into a, a conflict. It's not a conflict. You're turning it into a conflict. It's, it's a simple, you want, you want someone like me off your back, I, I'm a gentleman. I'll listen to what you have to say. Answer the question. It's single payer universal health care. It's it's a it's a fair question that is it's it's coming. Whether guys like this like it or not, single payer health care is coming. So my name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace out.